look at this cutie pie. He fits in my travel bag. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a minute, but I recently had to travel back home to help out my parents with some things. And this time I took a bag I've never traveled with before. I took my Speedy 35. So I wanted to show you, you at home, what fits in a Speedy 35 travel edition. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Stay good. Stay if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. My name is Brittany and I'm with Laidback Lux. I bring you lifestyle, I bring you luxury, I bring you life's little luxuries. Um, so if you're new here and that's something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Also, if these are videos that you like, don't forget to hit that thumbs up to let me know what to keep making. If you're already part of the Laidback crew, welcome back. How's things going? I hope all is well. Um, like I said, I had to leave Montana for a little bit. I'm down here in Florida uh, visiting my parents and I took that new bag that I, well, it's not new. I took a bag I've never taken be before traveling, which is a Speedy 35. And I was really surprised at all the things that I could fit in there. So I want to show you what can fit. Um, I will say that it was slightly heavier than I would like it, but since I had a rolling luggage, it wasn't too bad. And actually the reason I took my Speedy was I want to take a rolling luggage and I want to take a keep ball, but I also wanted a purse. <laughs> and so I decided not to take my keep ball um, and just take my Speedy instead since it was very similar in size and style. And it actually worked out really well. I didn't put any clothes in it, but I did put a lot of things that I would need or thought I would need right away at the airports and in the plane that I could get into easily. And since it's just me, I didn't have to worry about my spouse's stuff. So um, I do have some different items inside. And I also, ooh, this humidity child, it's not in the business. <laughs> um, I do have some other things too that I will show you what's inside those little pouches and things like that. So um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so this is kind of like my Mary Poppins bag. I have a lot going on in here. Um, and when I did actually travel, it was a lot more organized than it is right now, but I kind of had to reconstruct what I was doing. So I'm just gonna be pulling things out one by one. The first thing I'm pulling out are my Bose headphones. They did fit comfortably inside. Next thing I had was my tennis ball. I use a tennis ball because after traveling, sometimes my hips get really stiff and I need to roll out. And this comes in handy because I can roll out pretty much anywhere. I also had my T19 in here. So my T19 is housing um, my makeups, my cleansers, just enough to get me through the week. This round I didn't bring my Lush items. I used a lot of things that I got in my Ipsy travel kind of kit. So they are all travel sizes, which made it really easy. Then I also had the small size Karagami, which was housing my jewelry. Um, I'm currently wearing my rings right now but I did have my rings in here when I was traveling as well as a bracelet so I knew where everything was and that made it really convenient. I had, of course, handy dandy wet wipes. My mom gets on me anytime I travel to have these. So I did bring some. I did wipe down because um, people are dirty. <laughs> and then um, I have my COVID kit, which has all my COVID essentials. If I needed to, I have some gloves in there. I have some wet wipes, some tissue, some hand sanitizer, band-aids, you name it, it's in here. It's nice to be able to see it because it's clear. I can see everything that's going on and when I need to refill. So that came with me as well. I did bring some spices too because my mom, oops, sorry. If you didn't know, the reason why I've been on like a hiatus is I've been starting a spice company. I've started a company from scratch. It's called International Spice District. Me and my friend Saeed with Morocco Daily Tours, he helps me out by getting the spices. They're super fresh, super pure, super potent, and there's just so many to choose from. And I had to bring some. My mom was like, when are you going to bring me spices? So since I don't have to travel or I don't have to send them to her, I knew I was coming out here. I just brought a bunch and had those in my bag too, just because I knew as soon as I got home, I could pull them out, put them in the kitchen, be good to go. So that's that. I had some business cards hanging out in the pocket. Um, again, for the company, just in case, because I've always just kind of struck up conversations and people are always interested. If you like luxury bags, you might like some luxury spices too. I know that's a plug, but I had to do it. Um, also, I had a book in there. Last time I traveled, I kind of had forgotten how to travel. It's been so long, but I didn't have any entertainment on the plane. So this time I brought a book. I had it just in case I got bored. 
I had my little Felice insert that also is holding pins. What else do I have in here? I actually have my Felice in here too. This guy was um, nice because I knew I was going to need some hands-free options once I landed. And this is great. I have my cards in here. I have my um, passport. And this passport's really... I love Tiffany's. People sleep on Tiffany's, but they have some really nice items. This was a passport cover I got years ago. The Italian leather is so soft and so supple. It's held up really well. This has to be... It's kind of dirty, but this has to be at least seven years old. I'd have to say at least minimum. Um, yeah, but I got that. And then I also have my credit cards, of course. And oops. <laughs> and um, I have hand sanitizer and lip balm going in this bag, boy. And that was just kind of nice to know where everything kind of like monetary or travel related was because I also kept my tickets in there. I had my medium sized karigami that were housing my sunglasses. I wanted to know where everything was so it'd be easy to grab and the karigami medium size is perfect for that. I never have any issues. I haven't tried to put more than one pair in here so I'm not sure if multiple can fit but um, it does house that one pair really nicely. I also was able to get my laptop in here this is 11 inch macbook pro if you're interested in the case it is from chic geeks i'll link that in the description box below too um but this has been very helpful i use it traveling all the time what else is in here oh um instead of using my t15 this round i did use my pachette accessories this guy has just some little things i have my hermes um what is this called oh my gosh i'm drawing a blank um but it's all <laughs> Oh, Bastia. My Amrez Bastia is holding all my fragrances that I wanted to use while I was on the trip. So that's been really nice. I also had a little mini toothpaste in there. I have some alcohol wipes and disinfectant wipes. Just so like another little quick grab and go for little things that I might need on the go. I did choose this one over my T15 because my T15 was um, structured and I already had one structured item and it was just kind of easier to fit in the bag and manipulate it the way I want it to go so I did have that in there as well and that's kind of it I had a lighter and yeah that's kind of all folks so all this stuff this big old heaping pile <laughs> was able to fit so I have you know books and things like that and all that good stuff even my puppy can fit <laughs> So yeah, that's what fits inside Travel Edition. And also, if you're interested, again, check out my website, internationalspicedistrict.com. See the different spices I have. I'm actually getting a whole bunch of new inventory soon, so that should be exciting. I'm adding some new herbs and spices to the mix. So yeah. This is everything I put in my bag. Everything that fit. So I'd like to know, what would you guys use your Speedy B for travel? Um, going forward, I might use it again here and there. I, it came in pretty handy. I do still love my Neverfull the most to travel with. I think it's been the best travel companion yet as far as ease and comfort. But I did like this time having the strap to be able to do crossbody, which I can't do with my Neverfull. So I thought that was a big plus and benefit traveling this round. Um, again, I was able to fit all those things in there. I wouldn't do it all day, every day as like a work purse that way, although I could. Um, but going back, thankfully, since I'm dumping some of this stuff here, it will be a lot lighter um, and you know, just really fun. Um, I will leave a link again for the case, the Apple iPod or the Apple case. I think they also do iPods and other things like that. But um, for Chic Geeks, if you are interested in buying some really pure, potent spices, check out my website. I'll leave that below too. It's internationalspicedistrict.com. All my spices are sourced directly with my friend in Morocco. So they're super fresh, super pure, super potent, unlike anything you've really ever tasted before. So if you're interested, give that a try. Um, also, I will leave any kind of, if you have questions or comments or anything like that, leave that below. I'd want to know if you would travel with your Speedy B, if you've done it, if you like it, um, or why you wouldn't. So leave those below in the comments below. And again, if you're new, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the laid back crew. Um, and yeah, and if you have any tips or things like that you want to see going forward, let me know. Other than that, I think I'm going to go and play with the puppy a little bit more. <laughs> and yeah check that out from there so um yeah i guess that's it 
I, I'm rusty. I'm rusty. I need to get back into this. <laughs> but, oh well, what can I do? All right, guys, that's it for me. Stay safe and ciao. Oh, good sit, Kai. Good sit.